Okay, that is live. This is the first time I've actually done a live live stream through the GoPro onto YouTube. So let's see how that works. Normally it's private and so it's easier to like manage. Now this is a little intense. Okay, so I'm actually watching. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, uh, I started this a couple minutes early. Get loose. I'm actually super, super insanely excited. Um, I'm, you guys are watching me post this link to the Instagram. The Instagrams. God, I sound like my age. Um, this is crazy. I've never done this before. Let's see if YouTube makes it easy to take the stream. Holy shit. Wow. You guys are so awesome. Man, you guys don't mess around. It's it's always mind blowing to uh, have comments. You can see you see how the comments are going. That's that's just nuts. That is just you guys are just uh, badass. Um, okay, like I said, I'm I'm gonna do this for the handful of people that are waiting for me to do it on Instagram. Uh, obviously, I'm not. The last time I did this on YouTube uh, publicly was with Jarrett, and that was an absolute blast. If you guys remember, that was for the. Uh, 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 C5, that was for the Rotary Vet kind of uh, talk. So, holy shit, a thousand people are watching. Uh, like I said, let me just make it an Instagram story. Um, how are you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? Look at how many pictures I took, by the way, for the, uh, the thumbnail picture. Look at that. That's like uh, the movie Misery or even uh, <laughs> The Shining. All work and no play. Live stream on YouTube. Live. <laughs> live stream uh, live. Now, swipe up. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I, I was actually getting nervous to do this. And it's weird because I, I'm only pointing out because I never get nervous. And uh, obviously this, this means uh, a lot to me. This means uh, more than most of you would know and so um okay uh, i might even have if if we're lucky we might have a special guest uh come visit blah 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 where it's at yeah <laughs> okay um let's show you like i said uh, I oh, oh i've got a oh, i've got a special uber eats delivery guy <laughs> You might not recognize him with the hat on. I didn't recognize you when you pulled up. He's gonna have to take the hat off if he's gonna go back to how it is. Yeah, well, I'm trying to see the hair. I got a cut too, so I'm on my, my Billy Russo uh, Billy Russo vibe. <laughs> yeah, I felt, guys, I felt this wouldn't be appropriate without Isaiah, considering this has been a brainchild of his and I's for a while. Um, it smells nice. Yeah, it, it feels. Like Nice. <laughs> uh, Fab Daddy, yep. Dude, check out the comments. Watch this. They're just going, oh. I need to know what water body. Right, donate t $10 and I'll take don't, off my shirt. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. $50, I'll take off my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, there. it gets black, blacklisted. <laughs> the like, uh, I like the the va sense. vampire. Oh, yeah, you know what, I, guys, you know what I did is I put a light up trying to be all fancy for the actual engine and it's blowing my face out. <laughs> um, see, that's the sort of stuff I have to actually uh, edit when he talks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make it easy for him. Yeah, yeah he likes to throw it. Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna run three turbos? He did donate $10. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's, we'll talk about the turbocharger situation, uh, but let's, let's see, it is 159, so I just wanna wait for the handful of people that are like ready. Uh, so somebody else said, I'll donate if you keep your clothes on. <laughs> yeah, yes, please. Perfect, perfect. Uh, where is the six rotor? Oh, yes. This is about, right? Six dollars for six rotors, man. You guys, are, you guys do not have to donate at all. This is, this is about you guys. And I'm not like other cheesy YouTubers saying that. Uh, and the reason I wore this shirt specifically, um, and I, I, I actually brought these two shirts out, is I want to point out is that yes, there are a lot of, you know, I've got the Valvoline and Garrett relationships and they're absolutely amazing. They're making the C8 possible and all the other projects we'll talk about in a second. But you know who made this possible? You guys. Uh, this shirt, 
the 13B swap shirt, literally all the, the revenue, or, uh, profit, whatever you want to call it, um, from this shirt made the all-wheel drive four-rotor engine happen. And you see where that got the channel. And then this shirt, the uh, launch edition for the four-rotor, all the money for that went to this. So let's get right into it. Uh, don't tell us what to do. <laughs> you guys are you guys are animals. Okay. So um, what I did was I put oh, let's scoot the, this box up closer. Um, I purposely put the four rotor. That's not gonna go much closer. Does your merch come in five XL? No, uh, three I think is the largest I can get. Um, but I don't even have any for sale at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that uh, Diablo chassis for sale. Um, the one? Yeah, well, yeah, the burned down one the guy wants too much for, <coughs> uh, but it's probably worth it. Um, obviously, it becomes more of a real conversation now. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, there we go. So, uh, uh, what I did is I put in front of you a two rotor. Obviously, most of you guys know that, um, and the four rotor for the C8. The six rotor is not going in the C8. Don't. Don't get any rumors or hype about that. It won't. It just won't fit. It that's, just. That's why I said for this car, right? <laughs> I, I, I felt like the I felt like the table needed to be here for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> just I like yellow. What? <laughs> uh, it, you know, what is funny is I do not have the rotors for the C8 or the, for the uh, six rotor. These are the four rotors for this engine, and then two rotors from the Cosmo engine. I just wanted to show just the insanity of how much they are. Yeah, these are actually in pretty decent shape. But uh, you'll see in a second. I, I, the <laughs> this this is this is a rare race engine, you know. Like it's custom made, and uh, the this I will start by saying this. This is the only one in the United States, period. You know, North America, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is the only one in the world capable of being turbocharged. Uh, it is X40 treated, so it's a special hardening. And uh, nobody should turbocharge a six rotor. That just should not happen. I just want to make sure the GoPro has good audio. Put it in a Viper. Yes, yeah, so um, real talk. I want to move the GoPro closer so you guys can hear me probably. But real talk, um, it, the Viper is like the, the best worst case scenario. There, I like, I like that more. So yeah, yeah, the Viper is definitely a uh, a situation where. We're talking about the C8. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's sitting on my toolbox, by the way. Um, so, so yeah, the um, the Viper is it, it, the engine and engine bay are large enough to handle a six rotor. Um, so V12 and V10s are both long enough. To handle this. The C8 literally will not fit an engine longer than this. This actually just barely fits. We have to take off one of the pieces of sheathing to make that work. So, uh, this didn't it, did, I'll start by saying this did not get lost in transit. DHL. DHL. Um, they did, uh, the person that does their like importing mm -hmm. uh, is out on disability or sick leave or something like that. So it was going to sit at the shop here you know, over a couple blocks down. Indefinitely. Wow. So I went out there and I was like, uh, hey, that's kind of important. I kind of, kind of need that. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then this little hundred pound girl comes out from the back huffing this thing. Oh, wow. And I'm like, she's going to show me up. I'm actually not going to be able to pick that thing up compared to her. He was like, I'm in love. I was in love. <laughs> the hundred pounds? Oh, hundred pounds. She was small. And I was like, I was cracking up because I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick that up. Your first time opening it? So I opened it briefly uh, for Patreon. Um, okay. And dude, I legitimately, it, it was so overwhelming. I sat there and stared at it with the guys mm -hmm. and then I put it back in the box. <laughs> I didn't even take pictures. That's how, I was like, okay. So this is, this is the chance to appreciate it. So for those of you not familiar, this six rotor was built by the same guy that built both of my four rotor cores. Okay, I did this with it, but let's just let's just get right to it. 
I still stare at this thing. Let me get a better That's, angle for you. He really was crazy with the vodka. Yeah, he really, he made sure this thing wasn't gonna get damaged. Uh, I'll start by saying, oh, there was a question on Instagram about how many bearings. Um, and on this four rotor, you'll notice there's bearing, 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 nothing in the center. And it potentially flexes there. These are the, the custom bearings. Uh, the six rotor goes even crazier. So we've got two, two front bearings. They look so nice. Oh, it's there, you can machine those beautifully. And then two rear bearings. And uh, you know that's that would be a normal four rotor. Well, this is the front, that's the rear. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I got the box turned on. Thank you. Um, but you actually use standard bearings on the inner tube. So these are the way that these are machined for billet irons. Um, so you have as a six rotor, one, one, two, three, four, five, six bearings. Makes sense, six rotors, six bearings. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready for this moment? <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's just... You have to do the thing. Hi, I'm Rob Dunn. No, 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 no. <laughs> the other thing. It's a, the GoPro can't even catch it at the wide <laughs> angle. <laughs> That is just yeah. obnoxious. Can I touch it? Yes. Um, I, I'll be releasing a video on how this thing is made because the amount of work that goes into this is insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, there's a guy named Jeff Bruce. He's the guy that, that machined both of these. Um, I'm just I'm losing my train of thought just looking at this. Uh, and I asked him what was involved. and. Oh my god. Um, there you guys are. There is the world's first turbo... Jeez. Uh, this is the world's first turbo six rotor core. Um, probably honestly the only. The, the idea of turbocharging a six rotor is so over the top. Um, especially how we plan to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we really need a vehicle that can handle the power. Uh, real talk, there's no street vehicle that can handle this power. Um, but that's, that's kind of the fun side of it. Uh, if I recall, this thing is end to end, 38 and a half inches long. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a couple of people were asking on, on Instagram, what, uh, how uh, many pieces is it? So, I'll show you. That's one with one keyway. And I have to do this to take the wood off anyway. That's two. And if you remember, the uh, my all wheel drive four rotor is the same way where these two rotors are like a two rotor, which is one of the reasons I brought the two rotor out. And then there's this taper here that this rotor connects to. It does have a key. I'll take that off. It does have a key as well, but you don't you don't try to transmit power through the key. It's just more of an alignment piece. It's under there. It's under there good. You see that. But what you're noticing is that the actual core shaft, um, rotor one in this case, actually connects to rotor two. What's cool is it twists it more? This like exact. So like this yeah. one, you slide that one in. Yeah, he and Jeff was like, do not swap the order of the uh, keyways there. He made them exact. Um, another couple things about this. Just me out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is actually lightened like the 787B E-shaft. So more lightning pockets. So this, this E-shaft is actually lighter um, than if you built it this way, uh, or even the stock way. You can see that there's only three holes. Those are lightning pockets. 
Um, and as Isaiah and I learned, these also become the, the, the slide hammer of ability to pull this off. Uh, it is the same thread as a, a as O2 sensor. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thread as an O2 <laughs> sensor. If anybody uh, needs that information. <laughs> so here is the, the back side of the six rotor. So your clutch, um, well, uh, there's the uh, counterweights. These counterweights, um, just to kind of skip around a little bit, but these counterweights are special to this engine and they really won't be that big. This is just raw material to let you, um, you know, find your, your perfect balance. That's the front one. The rear one's actually screwed in there, but the rear one is what you connect your clutch to and then you transmit your power down, down the range. Rotor six, as well as yeah, these key baits are in solid. For two hundred, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Thank you. I see it. Like, thinking about it. I'm gonna have to get my uh, dental. We do a YouTube video, how does it feel to hold Rob Shaft? <laughs> <laughs> that, that video wouldn't get any views. <laughs> so many people have done that. <laughs> you're like, you're not special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't act up. Okay. You know, let's twist it when you get yeah. There we go. Well, the shop's name is not precision engineering for no reason. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> there you go. That's the core of the six rotor E-shaft right there. Jeez. That's just crazy. So some of you uh, guys might notice that the power is transmitted through these splines in the back here. Uh, <laughs> that means that Yes, rotor six is connected here with that little keyway like that, but rotor six, when it's making power, is mostly putting its torque to rotor five, which is mostly putting its torque to this area of rotor four, and then that's sending it through the centerpiece, through it. Now, of course, when it's all bolted down, what we're talking about is almost non-existent, but I just wanted to point out that rotor six, when it's making power, isn't putting it straight out to the rear of the engine. Um, what I want to do now is actually reassemble it um, properly without the wood in it. Let's see if you can even see. I don't even know if you guys can see that on the live stream and watching the, the computer. Oh yeah, you can't even see it. It's just off the screen. Every time Jeff would send me, Isaiah saw this, every time Jeff would send me pictures, he would send them uh, panoramic, panoramic <laughs> off, off angled. Oh, you want to know what else is funny? So this, so this says rear, R. Uh -huh. I asked Jeff, I'm like, what happens if I swap uh, fronts and rears? Because, mm -hmm. you know, they look similar. Yeah. He goes, oh, they're a different uh, diameter bore. I'm like, so if I understand you correctly, you mean use the press? And he's like, not even funny. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> like, joking just ruin, about just ruin, Just ruin the E-shaft that quickly. <laughs> yeah, because you can physically see the difference between this shaft and that shaft. Yeah. I mean, at least that's, that's... I'm going to put it on an angle so people can see this thing. Uh, the reason I want to reassemble it, for all uh, the obvious reasons, oh, one rotor insight swap. Um, I will promise you right now, not even hype, um, I will do a one rotor just because of, we'll have all the machining and everything to do that so easily. So I, I don't know if I'll do the, the insight, to be honest. Um, I love that insight, but you have my word, a, uh, a one rotor for sure. It looks so like already like, crazy like they don't look exactly. yeah, it, in order and but there is actually like, like anything I'm used to no it's I, just like, you can't process it like there there's there's a total of three other six rotors thank you in the world none of them are naturally ash or none of them are uh, this hardened meant to be turbocharged and there's no content on them 
That's the craziest part. They were out in like 2013, 2014, and then they've been very quiet. I've only ever seen that M6 six rotor thing start up for like three seconds, and that's the only thing they ever gave us. Yeah. So there. <laughs> and that's my shaft. That, that is one nasty shaft. Um, so crazy when you look at it from here just to see like all the lobes go at like different angles. Yeah. So guys, here's here's some of the cool things that are uh, about this shaft. I'm sweating up the storm. Um, right now, you can notice that these two, which is rotor three and four, are 180 degrees from each other, just like a two rotor, just like the four rotor, and that's about where the similarities end. But I want to point that out because if we were going to make um, a balanced exhaust manifold. You want to have the two rotors firing at the opposite time so their exhaust pulses do this. <laughs> like a 1980s like workout video. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you look for where's the next ones that are 180 degrees from each other, it's actually these two here. This way. And then finally, thankfully it makes sense, these two are also 180 degrees from each other. So if we were going to do one of the many ideas that we'll, we'll, we're talking about behind the scenes is one exhaust, two exhaust, three exhaust, and that'd be like three two rotors in a row. But the magic actually gets even cooler when I turn it towards you without hitting these rotors. I really wish we had a three rotor e shaft. Yeah, if we had a three rotor e shaft, this, this part would really be crazy. So let's pretend we sawzaw this in half, uh, like complete morons. You want me to get it? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Uh, and you look at just half of the motor. So this one currently is pointing directly up, this one's pointing down this way, and this one's pointing down this way. This is actually a three rotor, 120 degrees from each other. So another route to go with this engine is having one exhaust, like a three rotor, 120, 120, 120 degrees. It was designed that way. And sure enough, when you do this 180 thing here, instead of it getting bad angles, this is up, side, you know, down, down, you know, kind of diagonal, diagonal. This now goes diagonal up, diagonal up, and straight down. That means that each rotor on this thing is firing every 60 degrees of engine rotation. And to be really technical, if you know a piston engine actually fires once every two spins, you know, because it's got to go, uh, you know, pull in, you know, intake, compression, explosion, exhaust. So that's a full two cycles. Rotary engines, every 360 degrees the engine is firing which means every 60 degrees like this every 60 degrees a rotor is firing that's that's like v12 sort of like level status yeah. actually that really is close to v12 because v12s are 12 cylinders and they fire once every two rotations so it's like six cylinders firing every rotation so yeah. Um, if this thing does not sound like an F1 car, I will quit fabrication. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's and that's that's the thing, guys. Is that um, being very honest with you? This thing, uh, it it lives and dies by the fabrication of the exhaust. Um, like for example, there's an old video of mine uh, back in 2015 where I, I listened to Mad Mike's uh, MX-5, and I'm being brutally honest. Listen to that car idle and then do two step. Um, his exhaust isn't exactly all level even. Um, and you can tell it just it sounds off. There's something wrong. Car's fine. Car's amazing, um, but you listen to a couple of the, the six rotors. They just sound they, they don't sound right. We are going to make uh, realistically. I want since there's nobody else in the world doing this. I do want to try two or three exhaust styles and see how they sound because we already know how uh, the, the three rotors over there. We already know how the three rotor sounds. We could have two three rotors phased running at the same time. We could do three two rotors phased, and then obviously you could do six to one if you really wanted to just be simple. But um, what was six, 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 six one rotors? Yeah, six <laughs> one rotors uh, also. So a lot of options there. Um, to put this into perspective even further, I brought out a tension bolt from a two rotor. This is what holds a two rotor together. That's it. So I figured, okay, well, these are the bolts that are meant to hold my four rotor together. 
These are actually machined. You can see this is an NA stock FC bolt. This is an aftermarket bolt. Uh, and they both fit in the same hole. They have the same thread. You just see the beefier uh, machining. Yeah, <laughs> the girth is, is there. Last night, in preparation for this live stream, I did a little something. <laughs> I went and welded three of the FD, or well, in this case, FC uh, engine bolts together to get an idea. And it's actually pretty square too, I'm really proud of this. That is the length of the bolt needed to hold the engine together like a sandwich. This is, I, I've never seen this and I had to know. It was last night at like five in the morning. I had to know what it would look like. That these are these insanely long, clean bolts. There, that's a, that's, a, that's the actual, it actually uh, threads in as a six rotor, that threads in. So that's the length of tension bolt. Now what we're gonna end up, <laughs> you, you wanna hold it, don't yeah, you? Do. Yeah. Uh, that's nuts. That is just mind blowing. It's like I have a little six year old, you know? Just... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a child. Um, what I'm, I'm giving you guys a lot of secrets. And so this, this is the part of the, the, the live stream um, where I want to give you guys some serious secrets. Not just about the channel, but about what I've been working on in quiet these last two, three weeks. Um, as you know, it's obviously this is a very much a YouTube channel. But let's be honest, I, I'm about the geekiest, weirdest uh, YouTuber there is. I don't, I'm not doing it to make money. I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm doing it because it funds the ability to do innovative things. I don't want to be this guy on camera that has all this attention and isn't putting every bit of effort into innovating. So I'm going to tell you guys a couple secrets. One is that I've been building a handful of two rotors uh, off camera. Um, they're running and we'll fire up the, the C5 for you. Uh, that engine is completely fresh, completely built by me, side seals, uh, everything, all clearance by me. Fired up first time, had over 120 compression um, and actually had too much oil pressure because I, I, mo I modified it too much. But um, <laughs> my goal with the, the six rotor, the four rotor and the two rotor is to show you guys how to build the easiest, the light, lightest weight two rotor with the most amount of power, least amount of cost, least amount of downtime. I'm sick of seeing shops upsell all of this shit that ruins the younger audience's ability to get into rotaries. A lot of you guys message me saying, dude, I bought my first FC or I, I want to rebuild a two rotor. Um, and then, oh, hey, I got a quote for nine grand. Rotaries are expensive, but for how fragile they are, that's just, that's just unacceptable. That is unacceptable to me. I get it. If you want to spend the money on really fancy, pretty machine pieces, by all means, go ahead. But I'm going to blow your mind and show you that a lot of those things are absolutely ineffective. A lot of the extra machine work on the housings, a lot of the, the, the scalloping, all of these things do not come back to you in the amount of money you paid. Yeah, Absolutely. Very diminishing returns. You, yes. you get very little out of what it is. Obviously, yes. people have the secrets and everything like that, and it might work for what they do, but cost versus what you can yes. get. Yes, Co cost versus the benefit. You know, it, it, the problem is, is that, you, you know, if you're somebody that's into rotaries and you're like, I want to build a two rotor, you, you None of us, until I'm, I'm at this phase of the channel, I, for all these years, I still had all the uncertainty of what it takes to build a two rotor. I'm being told that there's tons of secrets, there's tons of tricks, there aren't. And the coolest part about it is building it in house, I can blow all of those facts out of the water. I can show you the truth about rotor engines. I'm very passionate about this because I, I'm angry. I'm pissed that um, you know, people take advantage of my audience, these younger guys trying to get into rotaries. And what happens? You LS swap it. That's, that's the, 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 the reason I'm so angry about this is because it creates the thing that I love to hate, which is LS swapping rotary engine vehicles. So, uh, like I said, that whole video series is coming out. Um, and the reason I grabbed these, these are called dowels. So they are, these are hollow in this case. Dowels normally fit on certain bolts inside the rotary engine. This is not, this is by design. Uh, these are about the most sturdy part of the engine. Uh, in my four rotor, the all wheel drive four rotor, that engine, other than it being billet, that's cool. That's porting, stock, 
The only thing that is really impressive about that engine, and I mean that in a, in a very cool, humble way, is that there are bolts built like this. They're just, they're just this 16 millimeter wider diameter. The, all the irons are machined for that. It just studs that thing together. It just holds the whole engine together. That and aftermarket seals seem to be all, all it takes to make power on a two rotor. Studding and seals. And I, I will prove that. I will show you what I use. I was, I've already been doing that. It's nuts. So not all this other bullshit. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I could go on a huge rant about that. And to prevent me from doing that, I, I actually made a, a checklist of everything I wanted to do on this live stream. So I unboxed the six rotor. I showed you guys it came from the t-shirts. Um, the six rotor, um, I want to see you guys, now that I'm back, now I'm back closer to here, I want to see you guys' opinion on this. I'm sweating, it's the six rotor doing it to me. <laughs> um, I want to see what your guys' thoughts are on um, the car that this should go into. I see a lot of people say next. Next JS XLS. Um, Is that the old school like four door Jaguar? Jaguar, yeah. Why, why you guys are going nuts on that car? Silver so, Okay. Think they're super comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Have my babies? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm seeing Viper. I'm seeing Lambo. Dodge Viper. Miata. Dear God. Oh UPS God. truck. <laughs> <laughs> Arc Seven. Stop sweating on your clickbait. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. I was doing karate in the garage. <laughs> Bentley. Okay. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> it's really hot in here. It's like 100 degrees. And I'm not saying like. It's 100 or 101. I was in Houston, so I'm, I'm adapting. Yeah, I don't care about all the cool food that you're eating. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I almost unfollowed him because he started posting the food that's amazing. Uh, so I'm literally watching the, the comments stream by. And you guys are getting what I'm getting. To put it into perspective, the four rotor is a more competitive engine. That is an engine that you can swap in two cars. Um, it, it's like shoving a sofa th through a door frame, but it fits and it's, it's, it makes sense. The six rotor does not, and I love that. The, for the sake of YouTube, this, this is a YouTube build personified. <laughs> yes. It really yeah. is. There's no, there, you can't, it's not a competitive engine. Um, it's got too much torque, too much horsepower, and that's what's so, so sick about it. Um, and just so you guys know where my thoughts are at is yes, I did put this table in this spot for a reason. Um, I will never touch this car in that sense. Just get, don't, don't ever question that. This is just my childhood dream car and a person like me would ruin it. <laughs> so um, like I said, a V12 or V10 vehicle is something I'm gonna be on the lookout for. Um, and preferably salvage something I can restore so that way I don't feel uncomfortable tearing into that chassis because this is going to radically change the vehicle. But it would be, think of it like a GT class vehicle. You know, it, it, it's grand touring. It's it, like, think of the Mercedes, not that I'm considering that, but somebody said Bentley. Uh, those, yeah. It was funny, somebody actually just said Dodge Ram um, <laughs> and a V, any 10 Ram truck. Uh, it's funny you guys mentioned that because functionally, yeah, tons of you guys are saying putting a Dodge Ram. Um, is that because I have a Dodge Ram? Um, it's because this, we, we could actually, I wouldn't do this. I will do this once. I just kidding. Um, this, whatever vehicle this goes into could tow any other vehicle. I think it'd be pretty sick to have the six rotor tow um, a car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I saw a lot of people on, on the, uh, the new uh, Bronco. Uh, unveil. They just unveiled the new Ford oh, Bronco. Okay. They're like uh, six rotor swap that. <laughs> but yeah, you see anything that fits a V10, W, uh, W12, V12, Viper, Cyber, Cyber Truck, your Lincoln. Yeah, see, obviously the goal. I know. I got. Oh, by the way, I got in trouble for having the Lincoln. My brothers moved that to my driveway, uh -huh. and I got, I got fined by the city of Monroe for having blight. Uh, oh, right. Blight is like shit. It's like a. Oh. That's a professional word of saying shit. The car's registered. Um, but if it's inoperable for so many days, they, they issue you, so I got tons of fees. Wow. Uh, so they pushed it to the garage. Um, but yeah, the, the Lincoln uh, would be hilarious. But yeah, I want it, I want it to be something that is like, you, this is the, what funds this build is it being a cool YouTube build. Like I could put it into Hummer, I could put it into something nasty, but again, I wanna make sure it's something that is like jaw dropping, the car fits. 
the uh, oh, sorry, sorry this comments went so quick. Uh, the comment the uh, the car fits the 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 vehicle. I saw blue. I saw blue yeah. <laughs> yep. Oops. You guys are amazing. What happened? The Isha flexed the six rotor. Okay, sorry, bad. I just wanted to make sure I saw that. Um, so the the flex would be at the very center here, and that the way I look at it is the pers uh, percentage of e shaft not capable of flexing is so insane. You know, with six bearings plus there'll be the front cover bearing as well. Uh, RB, man, you you guys are insane with your comments. I love it. Six rotor into a Ferrari three sixty five. <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. Yep, that's that's probably the best vehicle to swap it in. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> an excursion. Yeah, so you guys see that, that everything. Put it in a Daytona. Okay, <laughs> Viper Viper panels. Okay, yeah, Fox body, 750 BMW. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I wanted to talk about real quick was uh, all the other projects. I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that because I've been busting ass on all projects. Uh, the four rotor, the all-wheel drive four rotor is running. The C5 is running. Um, the C8, I'm saving up all the footage I've been working on, but I've been restoring the car. A Corolla, <laughs> that, was, that, that was the best $2.79 spent. Um, the, the, uh, the C8 is, there's two things going on, one is to build the engine and two is to restore the car completely. Um, Isaiah is actually here partially because I got that mill and what I've been doing, we'll, we'll go over this in a second, is uh, man, I'm missing so many of these comments. You guys are nuts. Put a three rotor in the race car Tavares had, yeah. The 750i, <laughs> I still can't believe that one. Um, S2000. <laughs> You guys, that thing would just blop, blop. The transmission would last about a whole, whole startup. Yeah, I would just have to direct bolt this to the rear diff. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so what I wanted to talk about is the C8, I've replaced the seat belts. DeLorean. DeLorean, that, that actually fits. El Camino. El Camino, Cletus, CRV, six rotor Lambo. Yeah, that's, that's my dream is, a, is to buy a spare Diablo. Um, not buy a spare Diablo, that sounds way too pretentious. Is to get like a, a, a wrecked one where I can salvage parts off of it for mine to keep mine running. And then uh, its value will be shit because it's, it's gonna be a destroyed. Um, but I can take molds off of this car and build that car. That's, that'd be, that'd be a, a ideal setup. Um, but the C8, I've ordered about $10,000 in parts, um, which still brings the total price of that project way lower, way lower than the car originally cost. I was very lucky, um, tomorrow's video will be about the fact that uh, the state of Florida issued a title for it. So um, I can oh, restore, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, can re I can restore the car. I, I can actually spend the money on restoring that vehicle. So, man, you guys are nuts. I love this. The 911. So I'm afraid of, the only thing about some of these suggestions is that um, I, I don't want, Jaguar E-Type, nicely long front end, yeah. Oh, I love the old, old Jaguars, those long you know front end. I actually think would be another, nobody said it yet, so I think an Aston Martin would be crazy. Yeah. They, they have a long front end. An Aston Martin, a uh, Bentley, those two definitely, I, I've always wanted an Aston Martin. You took the, the screen, so you don't even tend to, you just put the screen, I don't want to see these oh, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what's nice is that you, you can either buy it brand new for 400000 or wait a year and it's half the price. <laughs> they, those things depreciate so bad. I'll crash into one for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll sacrifice my thousand dollar camera. <laughs> I'll pay you for it. <laughs> um, so I got some some other goodies to show you guys. Career G. Ooh, that would be a, that would be a fun one. Maybe Ben Chen's career. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. I just got the Jambala. Depressed again. <laughs> okay, so I've got I've got some little secrets to show you guys. Um, this is part of the C5 project. Oh, Victor, thank you. Um, it's very kind of you really don't need to do that guys um, oh, okay. yes yeah stand man the ten dollar <laughs> s750i uh, stand up there okay Willie Jeep yeah be fun to do a six by six uh, if that was economical the Mercedes oh, geez. yeah so um, Garrett has been as you guys know a huge partner of the prod of the, all the projects and they have brought this 
the tiniest the little tiniest. <laughs> this is the smallest turbo in the history of this channel and yet it's still a 900 horsepower turbo for a piston engine this is the g35 900 they unveiled it at sema um, and the reason why i have this one oh, 240 the reason i have this one is I think that we can find the exact turbo to make the most amount of horsepower with the best amount of torque, best amount of response, reasonably priced for everything, all together. Volvo 240Z, I've never heard of that. Oh, fits, oh, fits a 12, oh, I see. Um, the reason I show you that is, just wait, there's more. What's in the box? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. You guys are getting all the, the secrets. This is the other end of the spectrum for a two rotor. This is a 1050 G35. So very similar. Um, you'll notice actually on the fronts of them um, is where you'll notice the biggest difference. My goal is to profile a stock two rotor engine, find the ideal turbo for it, and then share all that data with you. How I tune it, what I, my setup is, stock porting, everything. With the map. With the map, with the timing map, with everything I found with which doesn't work. Uh, the reason I've been buying tons of used parts and tons of spare motors is to blow them up, is to keep trying and learning the limits of this and then sharing that because all those racers don't tell you that and they've got a lot of good information but they're going to lie to you and tell you uh whatever sells you, you a ton yeah, of money. at the end of the day don't get me wrong they're a business they're out there to to make money mm -hmm. and it being such a, a niche thing they can they have to profit the most off of you sure. exactly and what's funny is a lot of the shops that actually uh, rip off um, a lot of people are actually not that wealthy of shops to begin with exactly. they're actually barely scraping by and so it's kind of sad because uh, you know, nobody's winning in those circumstances, but I figured you, you know, I obviously make money off of videos. So making good content is what will, uh, sustain me. And so what I'm going to do, Buick Roadmaster station wagon, dear God, um, what I'm going to do is share exactly what I find with each of these turbos. Cause not only different company turbos, but like, which one of these would you pick for a two rotor? You don't know. Nissan Sagia, Stagia, oh, the R34 wagon. That, that, actually, that actually would be a, a, the right uh, type of approach. So what we're trying to go for is the most horsepower, most performance, most response from a stock two rotor. That's power the, underneath the curve too? Power underneath the curve. Both of us hate <laughs> when people post dynos of peak numbers and it's just at that last second. <laughs> yep. Bing. Um, if you don't have power under the curve, you don't have a aggressive car. You don't have uh, what it takes. That's what, you know, what's gonna win a race uh, and just the beautiful driving experience. I mean, don't get me wrong, the three rotor back when I first had it was that you know, peak at the last second and you just roast tires and haul ass and you needed drag tires just to you know, warm up to actually experience that. But uh, that's fun, but we're talking street car enjoying uh, reliability as well. So um, that's, all this is gonna get shared. These videos are not gonna do as well as say six rotor, C8, even three rotor, or all wheel drive four rotor. These videos are meant as, hey, I'm in a position to be able to try these things. I wanna share it with the younger audience. Honestly, it's more just to save people money, right? It, yeah. Save people, oh, I, actually, I would love to see more people have a rotary decent run, running car instead of the, oh, the first thing everyone says, oh, they're running? Like, yeah. like they're expensive, like, they're. Yeah. I'm at the party right now, just let me vibe on my beach. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah, couldn't, I couldn't have said it better. Fourth gen WS6. Are you talking about the snout nose uh, Trans Am? I, actually, I took that to prom and I dressed up, my brother and I dressed up as the Butabi brothers from uh, Night at the Roxbury and I was, had a silver WS6. Um, <laughs> let me live. Um, and I did this the whole time. Uh, so. Yes, I'm going to be profiling all of this. I'm going to share all my maps. I'm going to share all everything. Like, the, like for example, tuning ignition, tuning fuel, what to look for, what works, what doesn't work, how to get to the main point quickly. Um, a base map. You know, there are some base maps out there, but why? What, what do you adjust on them? How do you look for that? So that way, people can own these cars reasonably.
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of the shop. Can you get, lo lo can you get larger than a six rotor? <laughs> you can actually, um, you no. Money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you could machine whatever. Uh, somebody, I guarantee, is going to mention in the comments that there's a 12 rotor. There, there is, but that is three, four rotors in. Uh, in that's cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. That, that's not uh, lengthwise. Yeah. That's like. Yeah. So my I'll goal. Try to put this in here. <laughs> oh yeah, the mark on on the end of it. Uh, my goal is to have a one through six. Now there isn't a five, um, and there isn't really a reason for a five. Yeah, yeah, is that five cylinder feel? But I, you know, my goal is to have a garage with all unique, memorable one through six rotors. I think you guys can see my plans there. Um, but yeah, man, that roadmaster just stayed up there. Uh, AMC Gremlin, rear engine. Oh my God, the thing would pull a wheelie just based on the weight of the engine alone. So many good choices, Super, Super Mark Three. Hey David, nice to see you David. Uh, I miss you. <laughs> Oh, you're ignoring me? Oh. <laughs> no, I just, I happened to be stopping by with food and he was like, hey, you're going to be a, a, a guest talker. Oh. And I was like, um, oh. yeah, I can pencil you in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let me take you on a tour of the shop and we'll wrap up this amazing live He's stream. He's the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, David Gladwell, you're my hero. He's actually who helped. Him and Isaiah were the two that convinced me to, build, to rebuild the four rotor and look, at, look what That's they did. I, I told Rob to do it. And he needed a white person to say to do it, and then he did it. Yeah, yeah. I got. I got to hear somebody with gray hair tell me. Uh, missed it, but seventy-six thousand miles um, longevity and mods. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, that's a. That's. A, that's we'll, we'll let you know in a couple of years. Yeah, that's the point of the video series I'm about to make. So hang on for that. Chizetta V16. Yeah, that. There we go. The, the original Diablo. Um, so the uh, first thing I want to show you guys is the C5. It's going to look exactly as you saw it before, but that is a totally different engine, different core. Uh, built that from scratch, um, and it fires her up. L literally, this is the when I did the all-wheel drive four-rotor, and I'm just letting that Valvoline sign hang out because I hate when people hang up uh, signs that are all crinkled. That doesn't mean anything other than that. Um, it's going to be your only sign up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mentioned that and the guys from Valvoline sent that one. I was actually talking about that little guy. Oh. And so they sent a huge one. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to hang up a bigger one. Um, it looks, it looks how it did. Yeah. And if you plug it in, can you give it, means do not rev it. Um, Damn. <laughs> I, I, That's good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, live streaming, man. Yeah. No, you're all good. You're all good. Come on in. Um, okay, Isaiah's about to start. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll go to 120 psi oil pressure at, at 2000 rpm, so don't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I fixed the clutch, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and consistent. So there you go. That's 100% home built. Yeah, I pressed the uh, oil mod. I did it uh, for the three rotor. Uh -huh. On a two rotor, oil pressure goes nuts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and shut it down. Yeah, so she's. So that's, um, something is going right in the shop. Thankfully, I, I st live streamed that to Patreon, and the guys on Patreon uh, noticed that I ha was about to bolt the rear iron on without putting apex seals on the second rotor. <laughs> no. I, I look over, I'm like, you know, I'm like taking a break. I look, look at the comments, they're all in caps. Uh -huh. I'm like, what? Stop. Apex seals, apex seals, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. I would have had no compression in the rear rotor. Speaking of rotors, um, let me introduce you guys to Christian. What up? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the original introduction I had for him, uh, I fumbled it. And yeah, so I, Rob, I, I, I messed on, it. Man. You, you messed it up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there you go. There's Christian. He's been helping out big time with a lot of the stuff that I'm just so swamped with. So we're, these are, this is a Series yeah. 4 engine. Um, we're trying to get, it's, it suffered some massive failure, but the rotors might be okay. Uh, this is the 13BRE engine. So we're going to test this called a Cosmo engine. We're going to be testing this engine um, out against the 
uh, REW. So this is pretty iconic for having a better intake, but that's what people say. We'll find out together. Um, we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we, had a, we had a problem trying to start this yesterday because the battery was so dead, the, uh, the relay kept trying the battery. So it was like, did, 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 did. Um, I wanna show you guys, it's a little dark, but yeah, I have two mounts on that oil um, pump. The oil pump was in the way of the spark plug, so I couldn't change them. Uh, and I squared up the belt. Uh, might still need a tensioner, but uh, I'm really, really happy with that. So we can actually run race plugs and go even higher horsepower now. We were running, we were running RX-8 plugs on this when we made 1,000 horsepower. <laughs> Let's see, we'll go ahead and take this off. So I'm only gonna fire it up for a second, um, just to see what happens. Hopefully the battery. Are you doing this? Did you see me with all those inline sixes? Yep. I got I got I got I got to show, show you what you're missing. Oh, Jason, <laughs> live streaming. Oh, Say hi to five thousand people. I just yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. ECU on. Fuel system on. Pornhub on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off because I'm gonna smoke myself out. <laughs> that. Yeah. I heard you scream. I heard you scream. I, th I thought the belt snapped or something. I heard, ah! yeah, that's why I ran over here. But it's funny because you went like it, like. Room, it like rooms, you know? Yeah, 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 it pulls. <laughs> I was reading up on the correct tension for these belts, uh -huh. and um, I also welded that whole, um, you know, the, I was trying to press it, the, yeah, the vacuum regulator. The, so the, the not the, to be mentioned phallic. The penis, the it looks like a penis, guys. It's a penis. Yeah. Um, let me show you. Don't they want being homosexual? Yeah. And so that, that what you would do is adjust because that, uh, the, that uh, oil pump is pulling such a vacuum on piston engines, that's good, but on this, it's trying to suck air out of the engine that doesn't exist, and it's causing the belt to be stretched harder. So we're adjusting the vacuum so that way this thing can actually... That's taking tons of horsepower to run for no reason. So she's it's back... Like the opposite, you run a vacuum pump on the V8s. Yeah, to try and get more vacuum so that when the piston comes down, it's being guided or added you know, by the, uh, the, the crankcase pressure. So she's up and running. Um, as you can tell, both cars just fired up for you guys. That's uh, first. Um, Are you gonna fire up the three rotor? Oh, that, I've got to unbox something for the three rotor. Um, I got you we're, saw that. We're already doing it. I got the uh, seat belt up uh, on that. Funniest shit ever, though. You, know, you guys want to see what a C8 uh, airbag looks like? This is the ultimate definition of hot potato. That's an airbag. It looks like that. That you remember that thing in uh, Jackass where Johnny Knoxville and. Bam, stand in front of like an anti-personnel thing. It's up on a pole and it shoots tons of like little uh, like BBs at them. Like, like a non-lethal claymore? Non-lethal, yeah, claymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that's what that looks like. They all stood in front of it. When yeah. They yeah. Sit on it and it oh yeah, no, yeah. They, they shoot themselves in the gun range. Uh, seat belts are working. Um, airbags will be installed fully. And like I said, all the parts are coming in for that car. You got the seat belts to work? I got the seat belts, the new ones. Oh, I, so you yeah, I yeah we swapped them out. Um, Chris, can you hand me? Uh, no, I'm, right. I'm trying to find the box. I set a box down here for, for the audience. Um, it's a box I just got in. Okay, this you'll be excited. Um, so many cool things. I'm gonna move your stuff for a second. This, this is my active filming zone. Um, I gotta show you guys this. Uh, here we go. So. Um, Go like that. You can hold the box for me. Except not in the way of the blade. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Okay. And then this is super exciting. If you can hold it yet. Because. Okay. Let's go ahead and open that. Ah, uh, yes. This is what. It, here, go ahead and open this for me. This is what I've been waiting for on the three rotor. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah. I think I know what it is. Really. Oh, like yeah, it is. There we go. The fuel rail is from full function. 
So yeah, we'll, we'll open those uh, later, but, and the trigger wheel. So now we can, we can build the car. Sweet, man. So, yeah, so that's, that's awesome. Fuel system and thing. And so then the three rotor gets back to life. Um, you can see it's just waiting. I was waiting for the fuel rail. There's the fuel injectors right there. So, and then the, the front disc, that's an RX-8 disc, front disc, and we have a three rotor running as well. Um, God, it's so smoky in here. So, one start. Um, and so I can put race plugs on the four rotor and we're gonna go for about, I'm hoping 1300 horsepower, 1400 is a stretch goal. Um, and you guys are still suggesting some amazing goal ideas. Mark three Supra, as long as it runs. Quad turbo and the billet four rotor, how far, how far are you now? Um, oh yeah, Zach, I just, I just was mentioning that we're, now I can put good race uh, spark plugs in there so it doesn't detonate under high pressure and um, we're going for even more power. 2014 front wheel drive Mazda 6, you are uh, a devil monster for even suggesting that. RX Vision, yes, yes, that would be a sick solution. These guys are still going just nuts on suggestions for the cars. You guys are animals, absolute I'm animals. Not a front wheel drive. Not a front wheel. I'm on all wheel drive speed six. Yeah, Mazda all wheel drive speed six. It's, it's still just gonna light all those tires up and snap that drivetrain. <laughs> Steel beast for builds Huracan. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Crown Vic, Ferrari F50, Pantera. Oh, that's my heart's in my Pantera. First gen Celica. Oh, that was a customer, not my customer, a friend of Abel's that was storing his car here. Um, so, um, could you keep going with adding housings? Kinda. Um, as you saw, one of the biggest issues is that you then start running into supporting modifications, bolts, uh, and other things get much longer and then you start coming into the weaknesses of material and speaking of that the thing I'm going to leave you guys with is uh, the reason all these projects are now made possible is starting to El Pollo, is starting to turn into a machine shop and what I want to point out is that to own a two-rotor you have to be a tinkerer to own a three-rotor you definitely have to be a mechanic and I've said this before to own a four-rotor you definitely need to be a fabricator of some sort to be a six rotor, you have to be at all. You have to be a machine shop as well. You just straight up can't uh, tune, machine. You can't do this and have somebody else build them. So what I did is I spent a lot of time centering the hole. Actually, Jason, if you can hold this down like that. Yep. And so I spent a lot of time centering. It's pulled away on purpose in the moment so I didn't damage it. But centering the bearing hole, finding out where the holes are here. So that way then with all the numbers and everything, I can just drill down and mill out the bolts as I need them. So all in-house. Uh, again, this is for insane race engines, not for these cars. Uh, I'm going to show you the limits of what minimum number of mods do. And that way you can say, okay, well, you know what? If I'm going to go to a shop, I only need this, this, and this. None of the other bullshit. I just want to enjoy my car and have it run reliably. Whereas this, um, I'm going to be grenading the shit out of these motors. And <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not the most experienced tuner. Uh, I've made it, you know, the power you've seen, but um, we're going to bolt the shit out of these engines. These engines are just going to be studded to all end when we go for race engines. These two, tur these two rotors here, um, are, I don't know if they're usable yet because all the side sails are just welded in. But these are actually NA rotors, and they're the same rotors from the very first car I ever owned, which is an 88 second gen non-turbo. They're the same rotors that are in that car. Not modified, not lightened, stock porting, and you see the amount of power we made, even with an uh, intercooler that was that restrictive. So you can see why I'm on such a, such a war path. The three rotor was not studded, was not pinned, was not doweled, had a small baby street port, and made all the power it did for years. So. Uh, you can see why I don't buy into the bullshit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if it even works. Kind of like myth busting. A balancer for the rotors. Yeah, it's, it's, seriously, I'm at that level. Lotus the Siege. <laughs> That's a good idea. So, yeah, so swap the six rotor to Kenworth. Oh, dear God. That would tow all, all uh, everything I have. Six rotors, six wheels. That That uh, is definitely, um, if some random case I could get a six by six um that would be to prove that six or uh, the rotaries have torque that would do it six wheel raptor so on okay guys it is i went 15 minutes over what i planned uh because of how much we've got going on and i wanted to do it this way just kind of kick off the video series again 
Uh, I've got about eight videos to edit, um, including some really cinematic videos of what it takes to restore a rotor, like kind of like you know those restoration videos. Genesis Coupe two or three rotor. <laughs> um, the um, this be the last. My last I don't know, but anyways, thanks for the hard work, Zach. Flying me out sometime. Oh, can't wait on what car you choose. Thanks, Zach. Thank you so much, man, for all the support. Um, yeah, so you can see, even with all the comments now, you can see that the, the choice of what vehicle the six rotor needs to be in is actually a really difficult one. So my goal, just like this four rotor, is to, to get the six rotor assembled on its engine stand and running in the air. I want to show people that that is... Anthony, yep, you know, I, I, know, I know why you said that exact vehicle, um, and that would be sick. Um, but yeah, so the, the, um, the goal here is to get the engine running by itself. We're going to do something really epic with Garrett on that vehicle, on the, uh, the six-rotor. But that is, I want to point out something that makes something important. Make a poll and vote on it on YouTube. Ooh, good idea. Um, that's a really, I'd probably do that, honestly. I'm curious to see what people say. Um, but what I want to point out is the six rotor is, is kind of like an in-between filter or a filler. And I don't, I don't, it's way more important than that. But like when I'm waiting on C8 parts, when I'm waiting on the four rotor, like I just did to get the oil system working again, rebuilding the, the C5 with a different engine, um, this, the six rotor will take a step forward. So it's not meant to add more projects. It's just, it took eight months, I think, to build the E-shaft alone. Yeah, uh, it was in November. Yeah, it was in November. And so you can see that when I go to ask for other people's help um, on these things, it's gonna take time. That's why, again, my goal for the shop for this year is to get all the projects running and then to turn into where we, it's all done in-house, um, self-sufficient, and that me makes all of this possible. So, um, like I said, you're gonna start seeing the videos come back out. We've got, the in order, it's gonna be the, I've got about three separate videos of the four rotor that weren't interesting until you put them all together because I don't wanna show you guys like, I don't want to show you guys a failure without the solution on a four rotor. Like I've, I've ripped apart the rear drive shaft that much torque. Uh, I got the new rear drive shaft. I got the engine running. We can see this car do some pulls. I don't. I, other cars I love showing. I you know, kind of vlogish, but the four rotor I love showing you the full story. And I know it feels uh, disheartening at times to watch the video and you're like, oh Rob, you keep breaking the car. Yeah, that's why it's, the video is interesting, and I'm pushing the limits of, of uh, ability. But I understand, you know, the story. You want a, you want a happy ending. Uh, and so if I break something, I learned from Cletus, is that if you break it, you fix it in the same video and you have this like feeling of like, okay, that was just badass. So, um, six rotor grave digger E39 M5. This is good, good suggestions. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave this stream up. So those of you guys that may, might have missed it or caught late, you can see the beginning where I unveiled the six rotor. Um, we'll take a look at last one last time. But Thank you so much guys for being part of this. I wanted to do a live stream just to get everything out and open that hauling ass full speed ahead. You can see even this table is just filled with uh, an insane variety of things. That actually looks really crazy stopping for a second. Wait, can, I, can I do the thing with the shaft? Yeah, do it, do it. Isaiah wants to do the thing with the shaft. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just hold each end because the, the shaft is, you know, I don't want to yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I, I, you know, what the, yeah, you've been, you've been staring, I've watched Isaiah just staring at the shaft this whole time. 36 pounds. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's some serious hardware. Man. My God. I'm drinking my apple juice, you know? Yeah. It shows. Well, there you guys go. There's the world's first X40 turbochargeable Isn't it? six, oh, yeah. Sorry. six rotor. Was... Yeah. There's the first hardened six rotor core ready for two, Definitely three, hard. maybe six turbos. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Um, obviously, as the videos come out, if you like them, you do. If you don't, if you don't. That, you know, some of these videos I may be making are meant because I love the content and I want to share it with people. I know that videos on the C5 don't do as well. If I was a YouTuber chasing money, I wouldn't make those videos. But because as a person who loves rotary content, I want to share that with you guys. So I appreciate the insane. It's still 100,000 views on those videos is nuts. Um, but so if you see videos get lower views, I don't care. I care that, you know, obviously the four rotor gets views, but I, you know, I just want to share the passion and make rotaries accessible for everybody. So, trying to save you guys some money. yeah, yeah. Trying to save everybody else some money now that you guys have gotten me to this point. So I appreciate everything guys. Take care. Uh, I still see the comments coming in. I'll roll through them and see that all, but we'll starting tomorrow. We'll start.